Hi and welcome in the 7th episode of Advanced Python. Today we will be covering partial functions. Partial functions are something which allows you to take a particular function you have in your code and then derive a second smaller function from that one with limited functionality. So in an example I will be coding right now, we will create a simple function which will take two variables, a number and a power, and it will simply return that number raised to that power. And then we will create a partial function which can only square numbers and you can only input a single variable not two variables just like in the original function to start working with partial functions in python first off we have to import something from func tools import partial now that we have imported partial functions we can start creating what we just talked about i will define a function called num to power which will take two variables num and power and return num raised to the power this is just a regular function and a simple one at that we can test if it works using the print statement called it and giving it two variables let's say we will raise 10 to the power of 3 and as you can see we get a thousand because 10 to the power of 3 is a thousand so now we will create a partial function a partial function is defined kind of like a variable so you don't actually use the define keyword at the beginning of it you simply give it a name which i will call square it and then we make it equal to partial and then in brackets we have to input additional information the first thing which you want to put inside of the partial brackets is the name of the function which we're deriving from so our name is num to power after the name of the function do not put brackets simply leave the name without brackets because we're not calling the function we're simply taking its name then after the comma you want to set your fixed variables so in our case we want to derive a function which will only be able to square numbers so we will take our power and we will make it equal to two and it's as simple as that our partial function is already defined we can call it just like a regular function calling its name with brackets so let's try and print square it and then in brackets like usual we have to pass on our parameters however the parameter power is actually already prefixed meaning we can only pass the first value called num into our partial function if i pass on let's say 3 and then i run the file we actually receive 9 because our partial function has the exact same functionality as here however it simply makes power prefixed to be 2 and there is actually a way to override that fixed value and change it here while calling the partial function. However, you cannot do it simply by putting a comma and then adding a second value because if you run a program like that, it will crash saying that our num to power function received multiple values for argument power because it's taking both two and five into our power argument, which is not ideal. So if you actually want to overwrite that, you can simply type power equals and then add your new value. As you can see, it runs correctly. What you can also do with partial functions is actually prefix all of the required values for a function so that you can call your partial function without actually specifying anything and one of the ways of setting variables in a partial function is like i written here power equals two for our power variable however you don't have to specify the name if you're simply going in an order from left to right so if we enter let's say 10 comma 2 it will pass it as num 10 and then power 2 and now that we have prefixed all of the values required for our function we can remove all of this and if we run it again you can see that our function function actually runs without passing any values to it. And that would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the next one.